quite a radius with old Daniel preaching. Right down through that afternoon, he brought that great mess. These 26 friends weren't a bit of help. They just egged him on. Amen, Daniel. That's right. Daniel, you're going too fast. Tell him this. Amen, Daniel. Right. Old Daniel thundered on. He brought that great sermon to a close. Your Honor, God has told us to preach. And Amen. until the day comes that God tells us to quit preaching, no man can silence us. That is what makes yeah, us so man, bold. Man. No Daniel stepped down. Silence fell in that court. You could hear a pin up. Well, I don't know what to do. I've never run up against a case like this before. I've never seen or met 27 people like you 27 men. Nothing in the books on how to handle this. You seem to worship your God with a consuming passion that I've never seen. Praise God. Praise God. You must be punished. I have the punishment. He beckoned to the court secretary. Here's the list of these 27 men's names. Take it over there to that little table and write them out a license to preach. God told them to preach. How must I stop them? For the first time in history, Protestant ministers were given an official government license to preach the gospel in that land. These 27 Nazarene pastors, down off those courthouse steps they came. They pasted their licenses in the front of their Bibles. A license to go back and to preach wherever, whatever, whenever they wanted to, without fear of the courts anymore. Man, Such man. a revival as swept that land. It couldn't begin to contain it. It left the borders in the Transvaal. It swept the gold mines of Johannesburg. From there, like the ever-widening circles in a pool of water, that spirit of revival has characterized the phenomenal growth of the Church of the Nazarene in Africa. From the Antarctic clear to the equator of Central Africa. From the Indian Ocean to the South Atlantic. That is the spirit that the Church of the Nazarene in Africa has. I will make 
of my worshipers and followers, my ministers, a consuming flame of fire which no man can put out. Those are your national workers. In the stars is handy work I see On the wind he speaks with majesty Though he ruleth over land and sea What is that to me? I will celebrate nativity For it has its place in history Sure he keep you set his people free What is that to me? Till by faith I met him face to face And I felt the wonder of his grace Then I knew that he was more than just a God who didn't care To live the way up there and Now he walks beside me day by day Never watching or me lest I stray Helping me to find that narrow way He's everything to me Till by faith I met him face to face And I felt the wonder of his grace Then I knew that he was more than just a God who didn't care Who lived away up there and Now he walks beside me day by day Never watching on me lest I stray Helping me to find that narrow way is everything to me. Please wait for the time to start. Let's go! I have the peace that lasts.
outfitted Nehemiah and sent him back to that country to build those walls and restore that city and to get it started on its way to a stable economy. But that didn't end the battle. That was only the beginning. And Nehemiah eventually got back and he faced some things that you are going to face within the next few days. One of those things was ridicule. And some of them said, who is this little insignificant outfit? Finally, some others got bolder and they came to oppose them and fight against them. And it was necessary for them to gird on their swords and build and battle at the same time. And so must you. And then came the final appeal. And this was perhaps the most subtle of all. As they came to Nehemiah and they said, Now listen, there's some fellows that are going to kill you. And you'd better flee and run to the temple and hide yourselves there and take refuge in the temple. And Nehemiah pulled himself up to his full height and looked those wicked men in the eye and he said, Should such a man as I flee, I won't run. I'll face the enemies, and I'll do God's work. In the image of God, we were made long ago with a purpose divine, hear his glory to show. But we failed him one day, and like sheep went astray, thinking not of the cause we his likeness had lost. But from eternity, God had in mind the work of Calvary. again in the image of God. Now that I have believed and the Savior received, now that I from the cry of my guilt am relieved, I will live for my Lord, not forget For love, thinking of what His grace has restored. I'll never comprehend redemption's plan. How Christ could condescend to die for man, to die for man. Such a I upward, onward, toward in the image of God. I'll never comprehend redemption's plan. How Christ could condescend to die for man, to die for man. Such a Savior of praise to the end of my days as I upward, onward, toward in the image of